<laughs> wow, well, just throw me under the bus then. What's the best prank you've ever played on someone you lived with? I don't know. If, I don't know if I should be saying this, but I, I, when I was a kid, like I used to like use, like do like roadblocks on the streets and stuff. I used to get like timbers and stuff, like lay them on the floor of the street and like have the drivers get out, have to move it. And I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Push Jake into the a pond at golf. That was pretty funny. The only prank that I remember doing is probably just taking egg and cars. <laughs> <laughs> the best prank was probably um, on my old man. Yeah, I think I, I left um, my speaker in the bathroom, and when he was in there, I was just playing fighting, <laughs> fighting, <laughs> fighting um, sounds. So, yeah, then after that, I got a hiding. <laughs> I trained one of my training mates when uh, we lived together. He kept losing his boots, it was because I was um, putting him in tubs of old ice cream, old, old ice cream buckets. I'd put water in there, put his boots in there, put water in there, shut the lid, throw it in the freezer, and the next day they'd be a frozen block of ice. I know when I was at the Bulldogs and we used to live in the Bulldogs house, um, it was a bit of a free-for-all there. Some of the boys used to open up cans of baked beans and um, while the boys are having a shower, just throw all baked beans all over them. <laughs> it wasn't a prank, but it was just a pain in the ass thing to do. I don't know, it probably just standard, you know, scare them in the shower or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but... I'd take these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember one year, Joshua McCrone was here. He, um, he, got, he got dog poo and put it all underneath Kurt Mann's, like, handle of his car. And when he opened the door, he had all a hand handful of dog poo, so yeah. that's one of the best pranks I've seen. Back at home, I used to live at home, we had a pool, and um, there's all, there always used to be ducks in the pool. My dad was, like, he hated them. So me and my brother would just, we'd get eggs out of the fridge and constantly put them in the... Um, put them in the pool and they're like, Paul, mate, they've laid more eggs in the pool and he legit thought they were laying eggs in the pool for like years. <laughs> Josh is probably, um, to be honest, Josh is probably the best prank star I've ever He's seen. He's up there, definitely, Josh McCrone. I've seen him put um, his young fella's uh, dirty nappy in one of the boys' cars and it was in there for a while. He'd have heaps for I'm sure. Just a funny thing, like, I just... He pranks all the time at training. <laughs> Pinch all of uh, I'll do the old... I get him all the time, actually. He's yeah, like, he, he pinches my, my arm and the back of my leg and he's just, yeah. The prawn shells. The prawns, yeah, the prawns one's in the back of the seat case. That was another Sh Shaving one. killer's dog, too. Yeah. Shaving uh, the hair of um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kurt Men's dog. Yeah. He's got fully against pranks at training because it just goes too far, you know? Like, I'll do something and then they do something more and then we start <laughs> letting down each other's car tyres and then <laughs> I can't get home. So I used to room with um, Corey Waddell and um, one night, he was coming home, um, just, I think he'd just been on a date with a girl. He came home and I threw heaps of um, like tomatoes and golf balls and stuff and all these pillows and threw at his bed. <laughs> he gets in there, comes out blowing up and starts pegging it all at me, which is... Um, Mitch Dunn, um, I went to Bali and I got some like of those inappropriate stickers that are like a dollar each and I bought heaps of them and I um, put a few on. He's, he doesn't have the best car, so I... I was allowed to. I put like all these inappropriate stickers up all along the side and it just worked out that he works at a school. He was like a teacher's aide back in the day, like when we were 18 or so. And he actually went to school with all these stickers up against the up against his car, so that's probably the best prank I've ever played. Yeah, hey. I've been the one that's got pranked most of the time. I think Mac has got me the best. I haven't done a prank on anyone, but Mac has got me the best. Talk us through um, a couple that Mac has done to you. Oh, he's done a fair few. One that wasn't filmed that um, didn't go out on social media. Um, uh, Carly took us out for dinner, uh, Macca's wife, and then uh, Macca uh, left early, like, dinner, and he went back and he set up, like, the prank, and he was hiding in uh, the closet of the room I was staying in. And uh, Tommy was in on it as well. He was living with us, and then we ended up going back, and um, I went to go to bed, brushed my teeth, went to go to bed, and, like, um, I could hear Carly and Tommy outside, and they weren't going to bed, and I was like, oh, what the heck? And then, like, I heard something moving in my closet. <laughs> and I was like, oh, surely not. Like, what's going on here? And then, like, I went up to go look, and he opened it up and had a mask on and scared me. Oh. And I, like, shook. So that was probably one of the, the best ones he got me. I got pranked on someone, like, my cousin. You got scared, didn't you? I got scared, yeah. yeah. Like, it was late at night. It was like, probably 1 a.m. And um, I could hear these noises outside, and my mate's like, what's that? Go check. And I go, nah, it's just a wind. And then I hear the door, like, creaking open. I open the door, act like a hero. I was like, oh, who's that? Like, come in, and the next minute, my cousin came in with like these second tears and put it into my head and I just started sprinting away and I, my mate was in the corner just screaming like, no, please don't hurt me. And then, yeah, I realised it was my cousin and that was probably the scariest thing, yeah. Never ran that quick in my life. You know, car? <laughs> yeah, car, car, car is, yeah. <laughs> a little milk and like they put glass wrap over it. 
like in a bowl and put a little a couple of holes in it so it didn't spill everywhere. Right. And then it sit in there for ages and made a stink like off milk in oh. the car. But I didn't even know. Who was it? Huh? Who was it? It was my cousin. So you what, you just put it on the passenger yeah, seat? Yeah, with the passenger seat. Oh wow, yuck. Right, How do you even think of that, TikTok? No, not TikTok, but um, it's my brain. Caught wind <laughs> uh, from someone saying that he's, um, I'm not going to name any names, but they told me he's, um, he's a bit on edge. So when he was debuting against Cronulla Sharks, I knew I was rooming with him, so I raced to the room, set the phone up, and when he come in the room, it's obviously all over Instagram and that. Um, Xavier got a big jump, man, <laughs> and since then, he's been getting pranked ever since. Well, no, I haven't really played any pranks. I remember I used to, when I used to live with Morgan, I used to turn the air conditioning on before I go to bed. Mm. And I'd get halfway up the stairs and he'd scream at me to turn it off because he didn't want to pay the electricity bill. Save a bit of money, that's fair enough. It was a sad couple of months out. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and that way you know you always get the latest from KO.